so this is my setup from outside so it's uh that's just a little uh lawn and garden battery as you can see and the, the only purpose for this yes i got to change up these connectors but i was just doing some testing with it is if i lose commercial ac i have this to um, allow the heater to shut down do its cool down cycle i've ordered a couple relays to make that up so once I get to that part, I'll show a video on that as well. So then I've got the two wires, positive and negative. These are just a couple little jumper cables I had laying around. And they go in up underneath the wheel well. So I've got the positive and negative. I've got the line for the pump, which is in there. And then the fuel line. So the pump is inside of a tobacco can, um, which really quieted it down quite a bit really what I'm hearing ticking, I don't know if the phone's going to pick it up, it's really just this. That's really what you're hearing ticking. Yeah, I guess maybe a little bit from in there. But that definitely quietened it down. I don't hear it from inside. Um, it's a little dusty out here because I've been sanding right beside where I'm sitting. So then I've got fuel tank. Uh, this picks it up. Line coming down. Do -do -do -do, into filter into filter into fuel pump fuel pump inside um, as for my exhaust alrighty so this is my exhaust setup so I made up this plate which has uh, an extra there's a ring that I welded on this it's probably I don't know three inches long goes inside acting as like a little heat shield and then I'm down at the bottom I welded another little plate comes in up here um, probably not need it but figure it can't hurt as I do have a 2x2 two two down here. So, muffler comes along. This is an old cane. It's everything just fit perfect. And then it's coming up here. Do 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 do. I'm going to join here. Do 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 do. And, yes, I know this is dirty. That's Nick Summers. Probably just get this all cleaned up. But anyway. So, this pipe ended uh, probably right here, about here. Um, did some testing with it. And then today all I'm testing now is I'm just putting this on over here to go through here. Yeah, I'm redoing this before the snow flies. That'll be a piece of wood over there. And then I'll cut away all that tarp. And the rest of it will get new tarp. But I run it at uh, 5 hertz for a while. And I can comfortably touch this, no problem. Um, right now it's at 2 and I mean it's just barely warm. But uh, just want to see how that was going to run. But it's running good. Um, now down here, when I was running it at uh, even 4.4 hertz and the 5 hertz, which I'm not going to run it that high. Say in my altitude, I should only run it at 4.4. Uh, I could touch this, but I couldn't hold it. I'm running at 2 right now, and I can hold that, except they're all day holding that, so that's not bad. So, yeah. And then my other theory is, I mean, if I'm running this at 4.4, uh, it's going to be a good minus 25, 30 or lower out here, so that should also help reduce some of the heat is what I'm thinking. But, uh, yeah. So, this is uh, how I got her set up inside. I did not want to run the exhaust down through the floor because underneath my trailer, I just got a spray foam. Um, I don't know if you could tell from the outside videos I did, but my trailer is very close to the ground. It's not very high up. Um... It's not skirted in as per se, but there's not a lot of uh, room for the exhaust to get out from underneath the trailer. And I just didn't feel comfortable with running the exhaust down through the floor with the spray foam. Not being able to see what it's doing um, or anything like that. So yeah, that's why I chose to run it through there. I'm going to focus you a And that's the pipe um, coming in here where I explained outside what I had made um, this is under my stove my stove is that's the bottom of my stove the oven. so just worked out really good to fit in here and I get my fuel line come in I still gonna put a piece of rubber around that just to protect that same with the uh, that's for my fuel pump and positive negative wire from the battery uh, the air intake and then what I did is I, these are off of bed rails where, you know, the angle piece that comes down to the, to the wheel fit just perfect. I had to bend them a little bit, but she's in there good and solid. Um, 
What I'm going to do, actually I might do it tonight, is I'm going to cut the access pin off here. Just in the event that I need to do anything with that exhaust, I don't have to pull the whole heater out for it. Um, right now I'm just uh, doing a lot of testing with it. So I'm just running off the car battery charger. But eventually once my power supply comes that I've ordered, I'm mount that on the floor. Actually mount, mount it right on the wheel well. And then I can tap into my positive and my negative. But that's the setup. Yeah, pretty simple and easy. Works really good. Hey, how's everybody doing this evening? So I want to do a video on how I set up my diesel heater, where I put it. Um, so I'm going to roll that here in a minute. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I think of it so far. Um, excuse the mess where the heater's at. I'm still doing a little fuel rods and ends. Once I get the access panel made, um, then I'll be able to get in and really give her a good vacuuming out and cleaning up. And anyways, here's the video.